Hello there, my name is Ian Freedom, and yes, I am the real Ian Freedom. Not a fake, not a fraud, the real one. With that out of the way today, I want to let you know that I am going to utterly change your mind. I am going to alter it. I am going to manipulate it. I am going to alter the very way your mind, sitting up in your skull right here, operates on a daily basis. You might be wondering, how am I going to do that? John Freedom, you're full of crap. John Freedom, you won't change anything. Well, I believe you're wrong, so stick around and I will change absolutely everything that you've ever known. A lot of people criticize me because I support a uh, total nuclear war with uh, the United Kingdom, and I do really mean that. Um, but I think I think we really have to consider the facts at hand. They're British. They're British, and they're British. So you know that mm, uh, you know nuclear warfare against the British and against any nation is a good thing. As a matter of fact, I believe that nuclear warfare in entirety isn't as bad as some claim it to be. Some of you softies out there, and I see you behind that little glass screen over there, I can't get through, but if I would, I would punch you right in the face. Some of you believe that, oh, you know, we... No, you can't use nuclear weapons. Oh, they're, they're, they hurt so many people. Oh, oh, God, freedom, why? Oh, 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 they hurt the environment. Oh, oh. Do you not understand the very meaning of life itself? Do you not understand the very purpose we are on God's earth? Do you not understand the purpose of our existence as a whole? It is to love America, it is to destroy communism, and it is to do it by any means necessary and nuclear weapons. In my view, and it is really more of a fact, or a gift from God that we can use against the socialists and communists of this world. Now, some of you might already think that nuclear warfare is a good thing anyway, but this, this video is more for those who think <coughs> that it may be a bad thing. Nuclear weapons are a undoubtedly strong American weapon. They are the most destructive and deadly and powerful weapons that the United States of America actually holds, meaning that they are the, the most destructive weapon to be used against communism. And you really want to bad talk that, especially when the United States holds such weapons? I don't know, it's not a good look for you, buddy. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. If anybody ever, ever, ever tells you... You know what? I think, I think nuclear weapons are actually a... A, a, a bad idea. If anybody ever tells you that... Never be friends with them. Block them immediately. Cut off all contact with them. Why? Because they are probably either one pro-British or two communist, socialist, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't care. They're both, they all mean the same thing anyway if we're really thinking about the facts here. Oh, John Freedom. I, I, oh, the, but they hurt so many people. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry. They hurt so many people. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about that. My apologies. I don't fucking care.
They are the best that we have, the best we can draw. No matter how many tanks, no matter how many fighters, nuclear bombs, and I mean literally just a sea of nukes, will do a lot more damage and a lot more quickly, too. You know, a United States ICBM can fly out of a silo in Wyoming and hit Moscow in approximately 15 minutes. Do you know that? That is very impressive for the capitalist system. In my view, if you want to call it that, but it is back. Before we go any further, I want to say something to you, and I want to say it now. What do you see? Tell me right now. Say it to the screen. What do you see? If you've said a pink highlighter, then you are fundamentally wrong in absolutely each and every way. If you've said a purple highlighter, also absolutely wrong. This isn't a high fucking highlighter at all. That is an earthworm, gentlemen and gentlemen. That is an earthworm. No, I am not high. No, I am not crazy. You all have brain implants, chips that the government puts into you in your barn that make you see things and perceive things differently. If you do not perceive my argument as acceptable or right in any way, then it could be because you have a chip in your brain. This chip is also made to make you made me made to make you believe that France is a real country when it is obviously not. Come on, come on, we've all kn <laughs> we've all known this. France isn't real. France isn't real in the slightest. People actually think it's real. People think you can actually just walk over and just be in France. <laughs> Another point I have: we are all going to fade away and die at some point. You and me are both going to end up dead beneath a tombstone at some point anyway. So, why not live with a bang? Why not live with a little bit of excitement? Why not live with a new little bit of nuclear warfare? If it really is the most effective weapon for eradicating communists. You know, I... I I... And as told by my last video, if you are an aware one, I am sending an evacuation order the very moment I get elected for the British Isles so that everybody can get out safe and happy and calm. And then after that, it's game over because we are launching half of our nuclear arsenal directly at the British Isles. And really, there is nothing you can uh, do about that. So, um... That's the way it is, and, and you know, that, that there's really nothing you can do about it. You know, it's uh, just kind of the way it is. At the end of the day, you must realize one thing, one thing, and only one thing. You and I are not so different. You and I are both human, probably. You and I both want to see communism eradicated from the face of this earth, right? You and I both want to see it eradicated as quickly as humanly possible. You and I realize that nuclear weapons are the best way to eradicate it as quickly as possible. You and I realize the immense power of nuclear weapons. And you and I realize that being too soft and scared to use them is a sign of un-Americanness. Some of you don't understand that. Some of you believe that Conventional war is more effective than nuclear war. Well, how about you look at what I did to Japan in 1945? Do you really think that them surrendering a day later was just a divine coincidence? No, it was because I dropped two nuclear weapons on their cities. <laughs> and they had it coming for killing our boys at Pearl Harbor. To destroy communism wherever it pops up, whether it be the Korean Peninsula or your next door neighbor's house or Greg's dog, who knows? We must destroy communism wherever it pops up. Nuclear weapons, pretty good idea. Furthermore, I don't just plan to have nuclear weapons in the hold of the U.S. government only. I believe that if the Founding Fathers knew about nuclear weapons, excluding me of course, if they knew about nuclear weapons, they would want everybody to actually be able to access them. And therefore, 
I want to make it announced now, and for the rest of time, as long as I am alive, that if I get elected president, nuclear weapons will be legalized. They will be. That's just the way it is. And if you don't like that, then don't vote for me. But it won't matter, because 99% of the others will. Some stupid idiots, otherwise known as counter-argumenters, will argue that, you know, nuclear weapons go both ways. Not only will we be destroying communism, but they might also be Joe Biden destroying our country as well. And I'm telling you right now, that they won't, no matter how many nukes fly and hit our country, if they are able to hit our country through my implemented 70 million space lasers defense program initiative, so they won't get through, but if somehow one is a magical missile and somehow does, the American people will be fine, America will be fine. Why do you say that? Are you out of your mind? Nuclear weapons, they hurt people. Yes, they do. But... Americans are different. Americans think outside of the box. Americans think outside of the oval. Americans think outside of the trapezoid. And you want to know why that is? It's because Americans are smart. Americans prepare for anything. If, God forbid, Magic Missile Michael gets through and hits our goddamn country, America will be prepared. Either I, they will just stand there and withstand the nuclear blast and march out triumphantly after it, or they will be utterly and totally fined down in their bunker that they have owned now for the past 300 years because they are prepared. Real Americans have seven bunkers. And I'm telling you now that having eight would be even better, but you don't have to have eight. Having seven is always a good idea, so you can go into each one if need be. Of course, if it's North Korea that's launching them at us, we won't even have to shoot them down at all because they'll make it about, oh, I don't know, this much and then fall in the water because they don't know how to make nuclear missiles, but, you know... <laughs> yeah, but, you know, that's besides the point. The fact of the matter is that without nuclear weapons, we are not nearly as powerful, our country not nearly as strong, and we, quite frankly, cannot do away with such weaponry. That will conclude my presentation as to why nuclear warfare really isn't so bad. You have now been altered. You have now been changed. But do not worry, because you have been changed. For the better, you have been slightly more Americanized after watching this video. If not by a lot, at least slightly. And you now believe that nuclear bombs and nuclear warfare against our enemies really isn't a bad idea. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate you a lot. Why? Because you, watching right now from wherever you are on this earth or in space, I don't know, are the reason why I am gaining traction, the reason why I am closer to the presidency now than I ever have been in my history, why I am closer now to the White House. I immensely thank you for your patriotism and your continued support. Thank you for watching so very much. Gay men, God bless America, and I will see you later. Screaming eagles! Oh, no. I gotta turn it up a little bit. We're turning it up.